What's up weirdos? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about, well this video is dedicated to all you nasty, dirty mofos out there. Okay? All right. Yeah. So Brent, I brought Brent along. Uh, Brent's one of the coaches that teaches out here in Germany. And we have an issue and we want everybody to know that about people's hygiene. Okay? So we're going to give you the six main things that you guys need to deal with uh, for yourself. And then also, if your teammates are not playing along, you need to pull that guy to the side or tell the coach and get him to pull the side and be like, bro, you're stinky. Okay? Because there's always at least one. You know how you have this stinky kid yeah, in school? Enough. It happens in jiu-jitsu. It's the same thing. You got a stinky guy in jiu-jitsu. So um, uh, I know this is a big one for Brent. Uh, what's the first thing that you think of when you think about like hygiene? Body odor. Like, the stinky. Yeah, body odor. Stank. So before you guys come to class, maybe you work a construction job or something like that. Or you, to, you know, if your gym doesn't have a shower, go home and shower, you know, and, and shower and make sure you're clean because you're, it's not so much, we know you're nasty at home. We already know that. So like, that's cool, but it's the training partners that are now underneath your mount or inside control and you're rubbing your face in there and you've been sweating all day and you stink or you've been waiting tables, running doubles and you know, all this stuff. And now they got to smell your, smell your ass. They don't want to train with you, right? And a lot of times people are so polite, especially Americans, where they won't say shit. And then they got to tolerate it. And then they just end up hating you <laughs> secretly. Body wipes that you too. Just keep them in the bag. Yeah. You guys can do the little bird. What is it called? Bath? Like, bird bath. Yeah. yeah. Like just a body, bring some body wipes and at least wipe yourself off. Um, the other thing is you want to make sure that not just showering, you need to wear a deodorant. Okay. So bring some in your, in your jujitsu bag um, and have... Uh, enough to like, you know, the, at least, and I don't know, the axe. Yeah, I got a little bit of body, I don't do axe, but I got a little bit of body spray, that way if I'm Something. The gym. Yeah, don't be that stinky guy. Second thing is uh, really important is trimming your nails. So on your fingernails and on your toes, you wanna have your nails trimmed and at least like doled out. And this is not just because like, if you see like, for instance, these tatami mats here uh, from Zebra, thanks Zebra, Kyle, and so, they, uh, your nails can get caught in here and then you'll end up ripping a nail off. But more importantly is in these big movements and stuff, maybe the foot comes by the face and you know, you get a, a cut somewhere and then that cut becomes infected because you got razor sharp nails. So make sure you keep your nails trimmed. And what else you got? Uh, breath. That's a big thing too. Close, close each other's faces. Brush your teeth, bring a toothbrush, bring mouthwash. Um, the gym I used to own in Denver, uh, I used to go down to Costco. So all gym owners like do a service to your students and, uh, cause dudes can be terrible about brushing their teeth and kids and put a big, one of those Listerine pumps in the bathroom. I did, I had some little cups. And so people's resting, we'd be like, dude, go, go to the bathroom. And they just squish out their mouth so that when you're rolling, you don't got to smell some dudes, you know, toilet mouth. Yeah, his lunch all over you. <laughs> his lunch. Um, okay, and then next I'd say is make sure, uh, you know, you're washing your gi every day. And then if you wear a gi, uh, what happens is depending upon how much you train and if you're hang drying it, some people are not, um, what's the word? They just kind of get overused. Yeah, they don't, they don't rotate through their gis enough. Look, gis are expensive. So, you know, a uh, hundred, hundreds of the dollars for a gi. So people will wear these things, you know, like it's your first... It's your first car you got when you were like 16 or something until the tires fall off. And then they don't care because it's like an old gi then, but they still wear it. But the thing is, it's got that stank. The funk in it. The funk, yeah. you know? <laughs> don't do that to your teammates. Look, if your gi gets old, have somebody do the smell test. Just be like, bro, can you smell this here? Oh yeah, you need to throw that away, all right? Same thing with rash guards. You can tell uh, with a rash guard, it almost smells kind of like sour or like a bleach smell sometimes. And that's when they've, maybe worn a rash guard and then didn't wash it. And then they just put it on and wore it later on after it's dried. It's got that kind of sweet, sour smell. Oh, it's the worst. Sets into the bag. Yeah. And then the last thing, uh, after you replace your gear is make sure that you guys, uh, especially now with all this coronavirus and stuff, but in general, if you're feeling sick, uh, you know, don't come to class. You know, and, you know, maybe after this coronavirus thing's over, you know, if it's like, you know, you've been feeling a little sick, but you're not contagious or whatever, you could at least watch from the side of the mats. 
if you're injured, you can still watch too. So I have people that would come watch class. But, you know, right now with this, this virus, make sure that you guys feel sick. Stay home. Don't get your teammates sick. You don't want to, you know, have a super spreader. Of yeah, man. That's the whole team and nobody's training. Then nobody's training. Okay. So, look, don't be that guy or girl. There's been some girls where I've had to be like, girl, you need to... Take it back. Yeah, clean up. Clean up, <laughs> right? Something. And there's like other, like you make sure you're washing all your parts, okay? And uh, and don't be scared to, to, to tell one of your teammates. Look, if you can choke a guy and you're okay choking him and uh, putting his life in your hands and, you know, you're putting your life in his hands, you should be able to tell your teammate, homie, you stink, okay? So be a good teammate. Keep yourself clean. Those are the six main things uh, from Brent and I, and we'll see you next time.